So let's see what this was about. Where is it? Bones. <laughs> yeah, it's just a spear. Alright. I wonder who this is, though. Must be another tries person that didn't make it. Maybe that's, uh, Chitza. <laughs> she didn't make it either. In fact, well, I have to admit, I'm a little surprised that, um... Yeah, if it is Chitza, I wouldn't be surprised. Because obviously there is a approach to this that requires combat. And uh, obviously the other alternative would be to sneak past all these enemies. But for somebody like Lily, whose uh, primary strength is diplomacy, not sure how they expect uh, her to get by. And this is locked. <laughs> oh, alright. At least it was simple. Man. This place is huge. We're in the hallway. Alright. Oh, raised plate. Boy, that's hard to see. Raised stone plate. I guess that's uh, a trap. Failing to disarm. What is this for? All right. Able to disarm the trap. Whoa. All right, a lot of traps are popping up <laughs> all over the place. I think uh, she's going to disable them because <laughs> knowing her luck, she'll bumble into them running away from something else <laughs> that's coming up ahead. So I think uh, she's going to... Boy, but they're all over the place. I mean, she could leave them and then try to maybe draw <laughs> enemies into them, but knowing her luck, <laughs> just won't work out that way. So I think she'll try to take care of them. In fact, I think that's... Well, I remember reading that in the manual. It sounds like a new feature. Being able to take explosives like dynamite or... Um, plastic explosives and not set the timer but to place them on a door or a container and supposedly would act like a trap. It's essentially how you would set a trap. I don't think they had that in the first game. I think what's interesting about that is not only that you can do it but I guess enemies will be going through doorways or opening lockers and things like that. It's kind of neat. Or maybe not enemies, but potential enemies. So that's certainly interesting. I think another feature I read that I'm not sure if it was in the first one was, uh... Man, this one's tough. The motion detector, there we go. I think, uh... Having that and going on the world map will help you avoid uh, overland random encounters. I think that's interesting. And of course, <laughs> if and when Lily leaves Arroyo, she'll probably have either a Pip-Boy <laughs> nor a motion detector. Gotta figure out that rest uh, thing. Maybe that's what uh, she's supposed to recover from here, the Pip-Boy. That would make sense. Boy, still more traps. Not sure it even makes sense, to be honest. Who's uh, set these traps and <laughs> how come they haven't been sprung by giant ants or scorpions already? Unless there's something far worse in this area. No, there's scorpions. I'm trying to think of, uh, I remember a few new features. I think that has something now to deal with uh, stacked corpses. 
Almost had that problem at Mariposa with uh, Ian's body. It was uh, underneath a pile of robo brains. <laughs> Almost couldn't get uh, into his belongings. I think they have some new way to deal with that. Curious what that looks like. I guess being able to toggle through uh, a stack of corpses. All right. Man. Is that it? There's another scorpion coming up. Yeah, another raised plate. Where? There it is. All right. Oh, I think the ant just stepped on it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Hopefully then, uh, if it's triggered... Look at that. That must be maybe part of the trap, whatever that is. I was going to say, hopefully once they're triggered, they won't be re-triggered. That's it. It's a one-time thing. Hopefully she got all of them in this room. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a chest there. Certainly going to want to see what's inside. Curious what this is, though. Sharpened pole. Three pounds, minimum strength four. So, worse than the spear. All right. I doubt they're uh, valuable. Oh boy, that was a mistake. <laughs> All right, back to dancing with the uh, scorpions. <laughs> it almost looks like they're running side by side. Bit ridiculous. Man. In fact, um, yeah, I'm not sure what... Oh. Or at least she wasn't poisoned. Just got nipped there by <laughs> Scorpion Tail. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I understand really what the temple's about. Almost looks, um... Ancient South American, like Mayan... Aztec or Incan. Oh, now she got poison. That hurt too. Three points. <laughs> Kicking back with a extra ferocity. It's getting now. Uh... All right. Finally got it. Man. Or doctoring. Not do that. Oh. All right, she feels a little bit better, but she's still poisoned. All right. Almost at half health. How many are left here? One, okay. But, uh, yeah, I'm a little surprised. I would have expected maybe to see something more modern, to be honest. Like uh, a vault treated like a temple or ancient runes. Not something that actually looks like ancient runes. All right, looks like more healing powder. Well, I guess that's maybe a good sign. <laughs> maybe we're not doing so bad. If she has... Uh, Two healing powders to spare. Obviously, we're st still worried about traps. Yeah, look at this. Here's a, uh, well, 
I don't know what that is, a monument or a statue inside this chasm? An aqueduct or some kind of sewer pipe? Just not sure what the connection is. <laughs> Alright, looks like another, uh, pot. Plastic explosives. Okay. There's another chest. And another door that looks a little bit different. Metal door. Alright, more ants. Man. Alright, there was one hiding in the corner. <laughs> but boy, you know, I think, uh... My understanding is there's more NPCs available for... Hire, so to say, in this game than in the first one. Hopefully that's true, because, uh... It's obvious that Lily needs somebody to do the, uh, kicking for her. Alright. Hopefully, uh, well, actually, that's another point. The entire premise of the story. Right now, she has to prove herself to the Elder in order to be given the quest to, what sounds like, get the Garden of Eden creation kit for the village. Oh, uh, <laughs> no such luck. Boy, there's two of them in here. And they both saw her. <laughs> oh. But uh, why would she even be motivated, I guess, to... Well, she had not really no choice about coming in the temple. But they get the Gak. The only remote <laughs> thing that might motivate her was, uh, I think, some of the children in the village are dying. <laughs> but besides that... And that's not much of a motivation, <laughs> so I'm not really sure, I don't know. But I have a feeling it's one of those things that uh, she's really not going to have a choice with. Or if they do give her a choice, it's going to be like an end game choice. Like she'll decline to go, <laughs> and then uh, the village will perish, <laughs> and we'll have to restart the game. That's what it seems like. So I've been trying to think of, uh, why else would she want to leave? It might depend on what uh, Arroyo looks like. If it really looks like a tribe, <laughs> then yeah, she'd want to leave. It's not her kind of thing. But, uh, the reason I even thought of that was about the NPCs, meaning hopefully then... There's, uh, somebody from Arroyo she can at least bring with her. A uh, fierce tribal warrior or something. <laughs> I don't think she's hit once in, I don't know, at least six. Man. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, again, needs those ant kicking boots. Man. Yeah. Probability she should have already gotten a hit in. Maybe that's the uh, bad luck that isn't reported, maybe, in the chance to hit. Ooh. Just got bit. Alright, there was one. I'm trying to remember where they even came from. I think this is in the room with the chest. So, 
Let's <laughs> start heading back now. There's nothing to recover from the ant. Abdomens or anything like that. Yeah, I can't remember now what I said or I keep getting distracted about the uh, diplomatic options for dealing with this Temple of Trials. How uh, somebody with maybe, based on character intelligence, to find a secret passageway to uh, bypass these enemies. Or destroy them in some other way. Not requiring uh, direct combat. All right. So, yeah. All right. Antidote looks like. Which always looks like motor oil to me. All right. Well, a little late, but I guess uh, that means probably have more scorpions coming up. Man, we're still worried about traps. 